Yeah, that's it. I mean, we we probably spoke about it last week, as in, um, you know, it doesn't come around too often. You know, it, it takes a lot of hard work. It took us, you know, six years to get back to where uh, to the position we're in now, and uh, you just got to enjoy the moment. You, you don't want to look too far ahead. You don't want to read into things too much. You just got to enjoy, enjoy the footy, enjoy the moment, enjoy the week, all the build up, um, and that's sort of the way we went about last week. The way we'll go about it this week, and you know, we got the opportunity again to come up against a really, really good side and. A side that have, um, you know, a lot of teams base base themselves around and, and want to get to where they are, and you know, that's the opportunity we got now, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We've seen a lot of guys play their first final on the weekend. How impressed with how they handled the occasion? Yeah, look, they were all super. I mean, um, you know, there was a, there was probably only six or seven guys that have played a final before, and the rest of them hadn't. And uh, the way they came out, especially in that first quarter, they just, um, you know, we, it was a few turnovers early, but we just wanted to play it on our terms, and, and our guys just went out there and uh, and just embraced it and just took it on, and uh, it was exciting to see the likes of Sammy Calhoun in his first year take the game on, um, you know, Chatty Wingard, Ollie Wines played a ripper game, these sort of guys who have just come into the system and, and go out and play the footy they did was, was great to see, and it shows the, the great character they have. How important have Wines and Wingard been to your team? this year, just, you know, their ability to, to turn games on their head. Yeah, they've been huge. I mean, uh, you know, for Ollie to come in his first year and play the footy that he has, I mean, um, you know, just the, the the bullocking style sort of contested style game that he plays and brings um, to put his body on the line his first year and, and just give so much support to myself and Brad and, and these sort of guys in, inside and then and then Chad to, you know, to do the stuff that he's done keep the goal off the side or just before the siren against the Crows and to keep you know clutch goals in games is um, you know it just shows the character of the group and probably you, you think their recruiting staff probably um, you know probably earn a bit of respect for that because you know the quality of the people that got into the club. How do you want beat at Geelong side that you haven't beat this year? Look, we, we just we need to learn from what we've what we've um, you know had against them in the last played against them in the last two games the last two times we played them and uh, look, we just got to probably bring the same stuff we did against Collingwood. I mean, we just got to embrace the the whole atmosphere, the whole finals atmosphere, and then bring our best defensive uh, defensive game like we did on the weekend. Uh, you know, I thought our, our back six was super in helping each other out, and then and then be be brave off there. Uh, and we just we got to play it on our terms as much as we can. I mean, we went we went into the folks last time we played them uh, about trying to play it on our terms and down at, down at Simmons Stadium, and we couldn't quite do that. But we need to we need to bring that uh, this week, and, and hopefully we can do that early, and um, you know, and then take it in for the rest of the what game. Was, sorry, what was Ken like after the game? Yeah, look, he was he was pretty excited, like the like most of us. But um, you know, he said we was still had a lot of things to work on. We got we got you know beaten in the tackles and contested possessions and. You know, that's something we'll probably look at this week and, uh, you know, we, we're pretty much straight on to next week. We didn't really, uh, you know, celebrate too much really after that win because we got, you know, it's a pretty short turnaround and we've got to go straight into into the Geelong game. Can you talk about that defensive game, but as good as it was, you allowed so many inside 50s. Yeah, I guess... How do you ease that pressure on the defensive line? Yeah, I guess... Um, you know, it probably stems through the through the midfield and the in the forward line. We've got to try and shut it down in our forward half as much as we can. I think it was probably in their forward half a lot of the time, and that's something that yeah, probably the midfield and the forwards need to work on, and uh, that's something we'll we'll address during the week, and and hopefully, you know, it starts from centre bounce. Hopefully, we can get a lot more clearances through there and, and get it in our forward half, and then hold it in there and, and help out our back six as much as we can. Just yeah. sort of that the free eye on settle the cats with a bit of physical stuff. Have you got the players that can do that? Oh yeah, look. I guess um, you know each team's sort of different, but I guess you know we've got players who, who love it tough, and uh, you know so you see Tommy Logan on the weekend. He's he's one that loves it tough, but you know we'll go in with our game plan, and, and hopefully that works. Do you would you agree with it? Be a bit of a directive to, if not, to, to sort of intimidate them a bit to try and be physical in that work against them? Ah, uh, look. I think they're a pretty hard team to intimidate. You know, the Geelong are, uh, you know they're you know a quality side and. You know, you, you don't shake them too easy. But, you know, we'll go in with our style. Uh, our, our game we brought in against Collingwood. Um, you know, we'll, uh, I guess Ken will look at what Freo did to beat him tactically and, and we'll go in there and, and uh, you know, play our game style and we think that we, we, can, we can beat him with our, with our style. It's not your style anyway, is it? Bully yeah. tactic? Yeah, it's not. Uh, we it's probably haven't done it too much no. uh, this year at all. Do you no. remember the last time you played Geelong in the final? No, I can't, can't remember that one. <laughs> Same time. When was it? Forgot about it. Is, is there something about Geelong? It's nine in a row. Is, 
Is it just to pick out about where Port was, or is it saying something about them at the same time? Oh, look, I guess it's probably a bit to do with both. I mean, we've been down the bottom for the last four or five years, and they've been at the top and pretty hard to beat. I don't think they've lost too many games in the last... Uh, you know, six years, so uh, it's probably got to do, got a bit to do with both. But we're a completely different side now, and I guess they're a bit of a different side now. So we're going into the game with a lot of confidence. I mean, they're, they're a quality side, but you know, we're confident we can get the job done. Did you Is unlock it? something in that second half? That's what was that? Did you unlock something in that second half? Yeah, I guess. Um, you know, that, especially the last quarter, we really, uh, you know, we took it up to them. I guess our run. We know our run's been fantastic all year, and you know, that's something that one of our strengths, and you know, that's something we'll look at. Hopefully it'll, it'll help us in the game, and yeah, we, we really just took the game on. We just probably in the first half just lacked a bit of the defensive side of the game, and uh, that's what we'll probably need to, to bring early. One of the nice factors that you fear nothing in this final series. Can you also not fear Geelong? Yeah, look, we got, we got no fears. I mean, um, you know, I spoke about just embracing it and, and enjoying the moment, enjoying the week, and uh, just going to the game with, with nothing to lose, and, and that's sort of the style we went in on the weekend. We'll go with the same attitude again this week. They don't have anything No, not at all. Not at Geelong all. last time, did, did they ease up a little bit in the second half? I'm not sure. I, 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 you, you'll have to ask them. <laughs> oh, look, they might have. They might have thought they had the game done. And but you know, our, our, the quality of our group, we, we played some pretty good footy in that last quarter, and we that's what we'll take out of it. You know, our run and carry, and we think we can get we, we can get them with our run and um, you know our, our braveness to take it on. And uh, but our defensive stuff's going to be crucial as well. You it's been a while. Dream that, uh, maybe still for this one? Yeah, I'm always dreaming of a, of a flag and, um, you know, we set no limits. Why not this year, you know, so, but we've got to get over this week and it's going to be a pretty big challenge, so first step is, is this Friday night. Firstly, when you played Geelong, you obviously nearly went there last year, you're from the area, Selwood's a great mate, what does it mean for you personally to play against the Cats? Oh, I always love playing against Geelong, oh, more so because they're a quality side. I think that's the, you know, you always love playing against the, the best team, the best players and I guess for our group we'll, we'll love playing against the best side and, and for me personally I love playing against the best side, against the best players and it's always good fun playing against Geelong. Is there Can a sense of personal history with that stuff? that you're playing Geelong? Like as they came here as Steve <coughs> Thomas with a shiny buttons and a brass band to try and get you over there. Is there a sense of irony that you're ending up in the same sort of semi-final? Yeah, I guess it's a bit, it's a bit odd, isn't it? Um, you know, we probably wouldn't have thought that at the start of the year. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bit odd. There weren't, there weren't many of them, but they were loud. What do you think it, um, it meant to have a contingent of power support to make their way across? Yeah, look, our fans have been fantastic all year. I mean, the support they've given us, um, you know, they've come out in huge numbers. And, and the amount of noise they, they created on the weekend was um, you know, pretty unbelievable. We didn't think it was going to be, you know, that loud. I mean, they were almost making more noise than when the Collingwood supporters were. And, uh, especially when that siren went in the last quarter, they were just um, you know crazy loud. So hopefully we can get as much support as we can this weekend as well, and uh, and hopefully get a big win. Trevor, what's sort of about the run? Did Darren bring back something that no one else knows about in this country, or is it you guys it just yourselves? Uh, look, I think uh, you know our, our pre-season was great. I mean, the intensity throughout the pre-season was huge. It was probably bigger than we've ever had before, and but it all comes down to how hard you you're willing to work, and I think. The steps were in place to train really, really well, and and then the guys just wanted to train so hard, and and uh, it came down to how much we wanted it, and, and how much we wanted to turn the club around, and I think that's what has really set us in good in good stead. We just we just work super hard in the pre season, and, and continue that during the during the weeks of the of the year, and then into the game. But how much of an edge is that run, particularly that it lasts so long? I think, I th yeah. Look, I think it's a, a big edge. I mean, the, the game's only getting harder, and uh, you only, you know, it's, it's more demanding on the body, and, and you've got to run a lot more. And I think, you know, with, uh, you know, our group of, of runners, it, it's really going to hold us in good stead. And knowing that you've done it again and again, how much does that? Yeah, look, it's given us great belief. Uh, you know, we've done it a, a fair bit in the last quarter, but we need to make sure we're we're on right from the start. And because, uh, you know, if we give Geelong a sniff, they're going to, you know, they're going to smash us. So it's, uh, you know, it's going to be. Pretty, pretty hot early and we've got to make sure we're on right from the start. What you learn about holding up a game like the third quarter? You had to hold it, hold it up. Yeah, I, I look, that's probably something we really got out of the game was when Collingwood came at us, we were able to you know, steady the game and that's something we haven't been able to do. We, we weren't able to do during the year. I mean, the Richmond game, they kicked six or seven goals in a row and there's probably a few other games we weren't able to hold it up and the, the best thing was we were, we were able to control the game, keep it on our terms and 
Um, you know, there was two or three times during the game we were able to do that. So that's that's something that, and in a final as well, we were in the super pressure. So it's it was a great thing to be able to do. Can you Yeah, look, it's something we've been working on all year, and um, you know, I guess it just shows the composure of the group and uh, the maturity of the group. I guess for some, some some pretty young players in there, and the maturity of our group, and and being able to um, you know put in place what Ken's been trying to um, you know preach to us all year it was, it was great. Can we expect a few more to come into consideration this week, Joe? Yeah, look, Stewie was great again on the weekend, and uh, you know, Matty Thomas played another great game. So yeah, look, it's going to be another tough one at selection, and um, you know, but it's going to be pretty tough to to knock anyone out. There was a lot of guys who, who played their role on the weekend, and I, I think you know something we spoke about. There was no passengers um, on Saturday night, so it's going to be pretty tough in selection. I think. Is there any, when you play a game like that, you know, no passengers a huge um, you know emotional win. Is there any risk in, in mixing around too much? Oh look! If if someone deserves a spot, then and they'll come in, um, and that, I guess that's something that Ken will have to decide, and, and that's why I'm glad I'm a player and not a coach, is because it's going to be pretty tough. But um, yeah, look, the, the group was, and that's the thing you need in finals is is a team effort, and it's something we spoke about during the week, and that's what we got on on Saturday night, and, we'll, and it's what we'll need again Friday night. How did you feel about the tight attention? Yeah, it was a tough night. Um, you know, McAffer played a you know a really good game. He really stopped my um, you know space and where I wanted to run into. But yeah, look, I learned a bit from it, and, and hopefully I can make a bit more of an impact on, on Friday night. Is, is that a good thing that I guess you're a little bit down and you can still lift a whole lot more as well as getting other contributors? Yeah, I guess um, you know Robbie's another one. Probably didn't have his best game as well, and um, you know we're still able to have a, a really good team uh, team game. And uh, you know we we just got to make sure if you if you're not having the best night that you're still able to impact in some way and. And most of all, defensively, that's the, that's the first thing we start from. And, and Robbie was able to do that really well uh, on Saturday night. And yeah, we'll just need to do that again on, on Friday. Are you last couple of guys. As about causing an upset this week as you were maybe last week? Oh, we're, we're confident in every game we, we go into. And uh, we just, we've got that belief and, um, and confidence there that you know we, our best footy is good enough. And we know we're up against a, a big challenge again. And uh, you know we're, we're under no illusions there. But you know if we can bring our best footy and and just embrace it and take the game on, then you know we, we think we'll be right. Have you always spoken about what happened one year ago, so the Jamie? Spoken about what it means now? Oh, look, we've, we've probably spoken about it in parts all year. Um, you know, obviously it's a, a pretty big, pretty big moment um, today, and uh, you know we'll, we'll be together as a group. It's it's good we're in the in the in the club and around each other today because it's uh, you know it's a it's a hard moment. It's something that you know we. We didn't wish we were in, but uh, we're in it, and but we're in it together, and that's the way we're going to get through it. And, and all year we've played with J Mac, and we'll continue to play with J Mac. You talked about the turnaround pre-season and how the club's changed. How much is uh, Ken put into that? How would you describe his input into the club? Yeah, well, Ken's been huge. I mean, we've spoken about it for the majority of the year how much impact he's had, and and Richo's probably another one who hasn't been spoken about enough. His his impact's been huge as well. He's he's sort of um, you know Ken's wingman in a way, and they just get along so well and. Uh, you know, just bounce ideas off each other, and um, you know they've been super. And look, Koshi, another one who's come in and, and just pr really promoted the club, uh, not only in Adelaide but around around Australia. And, and that, it, just those additions to the club have been huge. And you know we've had four or five players come in and have made a big impact as well. So it's been a, a whole you know team club effort. The whole mindset changed from a year ago. With all those additions to the club. Yeah, I think so. You know they've come in and brought new ideas, fresh ideas. It's it's really freshened the place up, but. Also, a lot of the players who've been here and been through the hard times of four or five years that have really, uh, you know, been pretty tough, want to turn it around. Wanted to turn around, and um, you know, I spoke about the pre-season and how hard they wanted to work, and and that's what's really changed it around as well. You know, um, you know, guys who have who have really taken their game to another level because they, you know, they're sick of losing. A lot of guys are sick of losing, and, and that's what's got us in the position today, and that's hopefully what will drive us forward in the future. When you said last one, boss. Not wanting it to stop now, and yep. everyone's going to keep going. Just make sure you haven't been easily satisfied. Oh, I think it comes to the whole group. I mean, it starts with starts with Ken, and we speak about it in the leadership group, and we need we need to drive it to the rest of the playing group. And but the thing is, it's uh, you know it's easy for the leadership group to, to speak about it to the players because they don't want to stop either. Um, our younger guys don't want to stop. They you know they're not content with just um, you know just winning games or just cruising through training. They they want to get better and improve and. And they want to win games of footy, uh, and that's that's what makes it, uh, my job so much easier. Is because the group just want to improve every week, and uh, it's great to be involved in. Thanks, Travis. Careful. Thank you.